Hello and welcome to today's episode. Last we left off, we had conquered Epp's fleet for one of the title favorites and continued on our winning ways. However, since we last left off, there's been problems, to say the least. Most importantly, Enak Asante once again out, and every as always, every time he goes out, we go on a, a, a bit of a struggle. We were doing great, we were eight points clear at the top of the league. And then we had this form of game. Late game winner by the enemy. Late game draw by the enemy. Late game winner by the enemy. Over and over and over again. I was, I was slamming on the table over and over. It made me angry. We could not put any form together at all. And I guess technically we got a late game near equalizer there. The good news is we brought in some new, a little bit of new blood. And right, right before the deadline a couple of weeks ago. We have turned things around since then to now put us four points clear at the top of the league. Two games left to play. Assuming we, I mean, if we win both, we win both leagues ours. Drawing on both is also good enough. Winning one of them, also good enough. All we need to do is secure at least two points in two games, and then we will win. So as I was saying, we brought in a new player, uh, Tyler Denton. 27 years old, only on contract until the end of the season. We basically said, whatever you want, you can have. The reason we brought him in is because Devontae Stanley also went down for over a month. At the same, so we were playing a bunch of not great players. Or else I had international duty at some point. He was called up for the uh, Barbadians. Barbadian international team. He's got two caps and one goal. Did a very good job with them. So our team was was in rough shape. We were bringing up people from the development. It was not good because McLean is no longer a great attacking option. For whatever reason, I guess they're training him and yeah, stop. Bring him on support. There we go. A little bit better. We brought him in. He's an option. He's been playing really, really well. He had an amazing game yesterday or a couple of days ago. Turned out very good. Uh, Jeffers and Smith have gone on a really not great run. They were able to turn it around a little bit in these past couple of games, but they've been in rough shape, not scoring goals. Their friend Asante went down. Still nowhere near eligible. He's going to be out for the rest of the season. He's been out for games now. Uh, over a month now. But we are looking, in these last couple of games, come away with two points. Two points and we win the league. I just had a team talk saying, hey, we continue our form, we'll win the league. The players all went, oh, I don't know about that. I don't think we're supposed to win the league. I went, dude, look at the... Get, get. I turned around and had another team talk with the Drew Dynamics team talk, a little pep talk, and I talked to him and said, hey, we are going to win the... Uh, we're going to do well in your promotion if you continue playing as you have been. They went, oh, yeah, I guess so. Okay. They turned themselves around. Holbert is now playing as a striker. He's fairly okay in his morale. Everybody else is not as high as it has been just because of our struggles of recent. But, remember, win today, you're the league. That's all we need to know. Uh, come on, lads, win the title for us. They don't want to win the title on the attack. Just pump it. Didn't seem to work. Well, enough of them are pumped up that hopefully we will be able to dominate. They are on a losing streak. Uh, we are against Dartford in 18th place, and then someone... Farnborough in 10th place currently. Oxford City has roundabouts the same sort of competition. Mid-table. We got really lucky last game. The uh, top of the table. Our Oxford City horse is challenging us for promotion. Come on, no. No! We're down 1-0. Lost against the last place, Dover. For whatever reason, they must have been playing a rotated side. That is disastrous. Because now... They're only up by a single point. I'm going to leave it as it is for now. Half time, so nothing has changed. Then I'm going to start. Richardson now taking the free kick. And it goes wild. Go. Their chance at it. Chance number three. This is any better. Just need two points. Two points to win the league. Team wasn't so bad. Another corner. Okay, attempt number three. Let's try sending it to the people that actually are supposed to be heading the ball. Instead of keep sending it to their to the enemy team. 
Okay, this time it ends with Isaac in play. Smith, Isaac, Denton, Paul. Paul loses it, and they're on the attack again. Really disappointed when we end up falling out and I bottle this completely. Not my fault. Not my fault the players don't want to play properly. I've tried everything. I've switched people around. I've tried different people in different positions. I have Jeffers. Yes! John Jeffers, 42nd goal of the season. He and Asante are some of the favorites to win player of the season. Let's take another watch against Oxford City. Is 2-0 up, which is awesome for them. Not so awesome for us. We were hoping they were going to lose or draw today. Being up by two points is not great. This does, however, give us one point we need. Now we only need to draw next time for promotion. However, a winner here will be good enough to secure us what we need. Looking around, trying to figure out, doing the math in my head. If we lose, they'll be up by, and they will have to, if they win, we'll have to at least draw. Jeffers now, oh my good on Jeffers. Pulls us ahead. If things stay as they are, we secured the league. Jeffers will play hero. He really likes showing off for you guys. He is such a liability when you are not here viewing me and the team. For whatever reason, when the uh, overlord stopped by, is exceptional. Uh, very happy first half performance. Keep it up. Another thing to keep in mind, apparently our owner is looking to sell the team. There are some heavy rumors that he's looking to do that. Just upgrade our, our training facilities, youth training facilities, because we want to upgrade our actual training facility for whatever reason. But those are going up, it costs $400,000, which wiped out quite a bit of our savings. But I'm hoping for an ex injection of cash that we get a new owner. Our city, yeah, they're, they're dominating. But I think it matters. Hear this today. Oh. Oh, don't let him score, don't let him score, don't let him score, don't let them score! <sighs> All we had to do was... Substitute. Denton, you're playing badly. You can come off for... Why is he not on our bench? Oh. Okay, here's what we'll do. Swap over to here. To swap in for Denton. There you go. They like that. Now, another substitution we can make. Chez is apparently playing bad. We will bring more Billingham on for him. And we'll wait to make our final substitution. We won't go attacking. We'll leave it as is and just hope we're able to score. With all. Or Smith, late game winner, late game winner. Jeffers bounces it off the person right in front of it. You'd think he'd see that man there. But apparently, he just was not paying attention. Smith has appeared to pick up a slight injury. Fine, he can come to you. Oh my goodness. Really wanted to come down to the wire. I'll leave my, I'll trust the team. Say, hey, suck. We can still win this league. Oh. This chance to win the league. It's coming down to it. I'll be back with the next game. See what's going to happen. I have returned. Two interesting things have actually happened since last we're here. Uh, first off, a bunch of the Premier League rejects have come off, and I've looked into bringing two of them in. Uh, specifically, this guy... Uh, on Tottenham, 18 years old. We believe he's four-star currently, five-star potential ability. He's coming to us for basically nothing. This guy, also a midfield player, four-star current ability, five-star potential ability, potentially a championship-level player. Brought them both in for two years on basically nothing. Also brought in a bunch of other trialists. Most of them look not great. Where there's a de there's a chance that some of them do make it in the squad. As for a squad for today. We're going to play the exact same team we played last time. And pray it works. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. We almost won last time. If we get a draw, we win. If we get a win, we win. If our opponents don't win, we win. 
We're all a home game against Farnborough. Farnborough are a 10th, 9th place. I do need to check and see who our opponents are playing. Uh, don't lose. That work. If I can get them pumped up with some fist pumping, I can. Everybody is motivated. As long as we don't lose, we'll win. Oxford City are up against, let's see. Oxford City are up against Bath, who are 12th in the league. We both have an outside chance of not winning. We're playing a bit the same level of competition. Okay, they've gone ahead. We can't lose. Simply can't lose. So far ahead on goal differential, we've been all season. Heart is pumping. Oh, oh no, they're on the attack. Here we go. More to French. French. Calm it down. Calm it down. We don't usually get the header here. Oh, goodness. Turner. Oh, tur this is the team I played on my stream. Oh, they've also brought in Taylor Crossdale. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, bo it's bottled. It's being bottled. Bottling is in progress. Oh, God. Okay, no, they've gone, they've gone even. They've gone even. It'll be fine. Going attacking because we have to win this. Smith uh, doesn't get the header down. We can send it around. We send it back over to Isaac for a second go at things. Gonna run at the def defense? No, he's... What are you doing? What are you doing? Goodness. He just stood there and let them steal the ball. Ends up almost back in our hands. It does end up back in our hands. Holbert now. Well, don't go offside. Stay back. Get back. Don't. I see you up there. Who do you think you are, Jeffers? John Jeffers with the equalizer. Back to cautious. Don't. A tie is good enough. We know a tie is good enough. Okay. Brings us back ahead on points. Got 93. Raw is good enough. Oh no, it's another replay. For it to be a nothing game. Ends up back with us. Richardson, who sends it back to French, who's going to launch it forward like an idiot. Yep. And it ends up with Paige. You steal the ball. Smith now. Ball to Jeffers, who's going to set over to Denton on this left wing. Going to do a little bit of a runner. Of course, stopping back. Sends it back to Paul. He's going to cross to the center for Isaac. Get over to Denton. Going to shoot the ball? No, he's going to send it to Holbert. Way too far out on that right side. Try and get the ball into play. Here we go. More. Isaac loses the ball. Denton, he's going to shoot. Oh my goodness, Tyler Denton. Third goal of the season. Uh, none of those were scored for us, as far as I'm aware. He's just done some great assist work. Just like that. Isaac sends it over to Moore, or he loses it. Denton, looking around, realizes there's just a nice opening. And their goalkeeper is just asleep on the job. And with if, if all things stay equal, that wins us the league. Or don't let this man score on the corner. Good. And good cross block. Back to Richardson, who launches it forward. Holbert. Roll it. Down this left side. We're still only attack. I expected this to go out. Smith. Thought he was offside. He was not. Trying to run around as a defender. He's up with Kawa. Stops the play. There we go. That. Happy with how you've dominated possession. Keep it up. Need to keep it up. Four points clear, which means sort of losing. Even better for us. Because if they lose this game, then it doesn't matter what we do. Most importantly, because we're up and they're down, many things have to happen for this game to once again turn equal. Hard does a good job getting the block there. Over Williams down this left side. And it bounces out to us. Smith now with the attack. Roll. We regain. Paul. Back to them. They're all the way back to their back line. Trying to figure out what they want to do with it. The answer is lump it forward. He was offside. He was. He's had to have been offside. Nope. Number 10 for them. Hey, Martin Taylor Crossdale. I end up signing him in the stream save as well. I know he's capable of, of scoring if he really wants to. Okay, we go back to even. No. Scramble. Scramble. Stop letting them cross. Okay. okay. 
down. Game, go forward. Pretty tired. No one's tired. They're going to play until they die. Someone finally gets tired is when we'll be looking to swap them out. Brought off Taylor Crossdale. Good for me to see. We have that we need, we need to swap out our back line. So Crocker comes in. Alucard comes off from a clean. No, Alucard's staying on. That last one. Anybody else looking tired? Anybody else having a bad game? Strikers are. Not going to swap them out. Or, this is it to Holbert. Almost loses possession. Jeffers now on the attack. Picks it in. And it goes high. But he have drawn level. Everybody else tired? Denton is tired. Kamwa is tired. Moore is tired. Moore can come off for Stanley. Moore can come off for Billingham. Rest legs in the defense. A few more minutes is all we need. Breathing. Heart rate. On, you can do it. Path have gone up, and with that, we have won the league. Oh, it was it was rough going there. There are a few patches where we just looked awful. For the most part, though, there's huge stretches where we've been absolutely dominant. They've really tried hard to bottle it here at the end since Asante's been out. Without Asante, we are in dire trouble. I assume Jeffers is going to win, uh, maybe not in player of the season, maybe, or Asante. It depends on how much they value, uh, scoring versus just general high playing ability. Because Asante's also scored, like, 20 goals for us, even though he's playing in a supporting role. We'll walk them off. We do have a decent-sized stadium. I wonder if this stadium will be big enough for the league above. Question. But look, it's me. Actually, my main man on the inside. Man with the horrible, horrible hat. That, he, congratulations everyone, you're champions. Uh, everybody has switched off. They really don't think they can become champions. Even now, they remain unconvinced they're champions. I also have a Steam achievement. Uh, guide your team to automatic promotion. Great domestic league. Very, very good. Uh, most importantly, we have budgets for next season. Yikes. I mean, it's, it's an upgrade. It is an upgrade. If we do well... In the off season, bringing in a, mostly what we need is to sign starting players in various positions, especially more. We're going to have to bring more back in or some decent replacement for him. Otherwise, just depth in all the positions, especially striker, and maybe start looking on or to move on some of our lower potential or lower current ability players that we have been using this season. But we are very happy that result that being said thank you very much for watching i'll be back next episode the transfer going on over the off season just all the off season activities we'll see how that turns out for our next season the vanarama national league year five thanks for watching you should watch another please